Psalms 21, verses 1 to 13, Amplified. O Lord, the King, who delight in your strength, and in your salvation, how greatly will he rejoice. You have given him his heart's desire, and you have not withheld the request of his lips, Sila. For you meet him with blessings of good things. You set a crown of pure gold on his head. He asks life of you and you give it to him. Long life forever and evermore. His glory is great because of your victory. Splendor and majesty you bestow upon him. For you make him most blessed and a blessing forever. You make him joyful with the joy of your presence. For the king confidently trusts in the Lord. And through the loving kindness, faithfulness, goodness of the Most High, he will never be shaken. Your hand will reach out and defeat all your enemies. Your right hand will reach those who hate you. You will make them as if in a blazing oven in the time of your anger. The Lord will swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire will devour them. Their offspring you will destroy from the earth and their descendants from the sons of men. For they planned evil against you. They devised a malevolent plot, and they will not succeed. For you will make them turn their backs in defeat. You will aim your bowstring of divine justice at their faces. Be exalted, Lord, in your strength. We will sing and praise your power. Psalms 22, verses 1 to 31, Amplified. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me and from the words of my groaning? Oh, my God, I call out by day, but you do not answer. And by night, but I find no rest, no quiet. But you are holy, O oh, you who are enthroned in the holy place, where the praises of Israel are offered. In you our fathers trusted leaned on, relied on, and were confident. They trusted and you rescued them. They cried out to you and were delivered. They trusted in you and were not disappointed or ashamed. But I am treated as a worm, insignificant and powerless, and not a man. I am the scorn of men and despised by the people. All who see me laugh at me and mock me. They insultingly open their lips, they shake their head, saying, He trusted and committed himself to the Lord. Let him save him, let him rescue him, because he delights in him. Yet you are he who pulled me out of the womb. You made me trust when on my mother's breasts. I was cast upon you from birth. From my mother's womb you have been my God. Do not be far from me, for trouble is near and there is no one to help. Many enemies like bulls have surrounded me. Strong bulls of Bashan have encircled me. They open wide their mouths against me, like a ravening and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted by anguish within me. My strength is dried up, like a fragment of clay pottery, and my dry tongue clings to my jaws, and you have laid me in the dust of death, for a pack of dogs have surrounded me. A gang of evil dwells has encircled me. They pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They look, they stare at me. They divide my clothing among them and cast lots for my garments. But you, O oh Lord, do not be far from me. O oh, you, my help, come quickly to my assistance. Rescue my life from the sword, my only life from the paw of the dog, the executioner. Save me from the lion's mouth, from the horns of the wild oxen you answer me. I will tell of your name to my countrymen. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord with all inspired reverence, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, honor him. Fear him with submissive wonder. 
all you descendants of Israel. For he has not despised nor detested the suffering of the afflicted, nor has he hidden his face from him. But when he cried to him for help, he listened. My praise will be of you in the great assembly. I will pay my vows made in the time of trouble before those who reverently fear him. The afflicted will eat and be satisfied. Those who diligently seek him and require him as their greatest need will praise the Lord. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth will remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations will bow down and worship before you. For the kingship and the kingdom are the Lord's, and he rules over the nations. All the prosperous of the earth will eat and worship. All those who go down to the dust, the dead, will bow before him, even he who cannot keep his soul alive. Posterity will serve him. They will tell of the Lord to the next generation. They will come and declare his righteousness to a people yet to be born, that he has done it and that it is finished. Psalms 23 verses 1 to 6 Amplified The Lord is my shepherd. To feed, to guide, and to shield me, I shall not want. He lets me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still and quiet waters. He refreshes and restores my soul, life. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the sunless valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod to protect and your staff to guide, they comfort and console me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You have anointed and refreshed my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, Goodness and mercy and unfailing love shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell forever, throughout all my days, in the house and in the presence of the Lord. Psalms 24 verses 1 to 10, Amplified. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness of it, the world and those who dwell in it. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the streams and the rivers. Who may ascend unto the mountain of the Lord? And who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to what is false, nor has sown oaths deceitfully. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation description of those who diligently seek him and require him as their greatest need. Who seek your face even as did Jacob, Selah. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, and lift them up ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is he then, this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory, who rules over all creation with his heavenly armies. Selah. Psalms 25, verses 1 to 22, Amplified. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I have unwavering trust. And I rely on you with steadfast confidence. Do not let me be ashamed. Or my hope in you be disappointed. Do not let my enemies triumph over me. Indeed, none of those who expectantly wait for you will be ashamed. Those who turn away from what is right and deal treacherously without cause will be ashamed, humiliated, embarrassed. Let me know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you and only you I wait, expectantly, all day long. Remember, O Lord, your tender compassion and your loving kindness. 
for they have been from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your loving kindness, remember me. For your goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in justice and he teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are loving kindness and goodness and truth and faithfulness to those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my wickedness and my guilt, for they are great. Who is the man who fears the Lord with all inspired reverence and worships him with submissive wonder? He will teach him through his word in the way he should choose. His soul will dwell in prosperity and goodness, and his descendants will inherit the land. The secret of the wise counsel of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he will let them know his covenant and reveal to them through his word its deep inner meaning. My eyes are continually toward the Lord, for he will bring my feet out of the net. Turn to me, Lord, and be gracious to me, for I am alone and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are multiplied. Bring me out of my distresses. Look upon my affliction and my trouble and forgive all my sins. Look upon my enemies, for they are many. They hate me with cruel and violent hatred. Guard my soul and rescue me. Do not let me be ashamed or disappointed, for I have taken refuge in you. Let integrity and uprightness protect me, for I wait expectantly for you. O God, redeem Israel out of all his troubles. Psalms 26 verses 1 to 12 Amplified Vindicate me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity. I have relied on and trusted confidently in the Lord without wavering, and I shall not sleep. Examine me, O Lord, and try me. Test my heart and my mind, for your loving kindness is before my eyes and I have walked faithfully in your truth. I do not sit with deceitful or unethical or worthless men, nor seek companionship with pretenders, self-righteous hypocrites. I hate the company of evildoers. I will not sit with the wicked. I will wash my hands in innocence, and I will go about your altar, O Lord, that I may proclaim with the voice of thanksgiving and declare all your wonders. O Lord, I love the habitation of your house, and the place where your glory dwells. Do not sweep my soul away with sinners, nor sweep away my life with men of bloodshed, in whose hands is a wicked scheme, and whose right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, I shall walk in my integrity. Redeem me and be merciful and gracious to me. My foot stands on a level place. In the congregations I will bless the Lord. Psalms 27 verses 1 to 14 Amplified. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the refuge and fortress of my life. Whom shall I dread? When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my adversaries and my enemies, they stumbled and fell. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war arise against me, even in this I am confident. One thing I have asked of the Lord, and that I will seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord, in his presence all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty, the delightful loveliness and majestic grandeur of the Lord, and to meditate in his temple. For in the day of trouble he will hide me in his shelter. In the secret place of his tent he will hide me. He will lift me up on a rock. And now my head will be lifted up above my enemies around me. In his tent, I will offer sacrifices with shouts of joy. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud. Be gracious and compassionate to me and answer me. When you said, seek my face in prayer, require my presence as your greatest need. My heart said to you, your face, O Lord, I will seek on the authority of your word. Do not hide your face from me. 
Do not turn your servants away in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon me nor leave me, O God of my salvation. Although my father and my mother have abandoned me, yet the Lord will take me up, adopt me as his child. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me on a level path. Because of my enemies who lie in wait, do not give me up to the will of my adversaries. For false witnesses have come against me. They breathe out violence. I would have despaired had I not believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for and confidently expect the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Yes, wait for and confidently expect the Lord. Psalms 28 verses 1 to 9 amplified. To you I call, O Lord, my rock, do not be deaf to me. For if you are silent to me, I will become like those who go down to the pit, grave. Hear the voice of my supplication, specific requests, humble entreaties as I cry to you for help. As I lift up my hands and heart toward your innermost sanctuary, holy of holies, do not drag me away with the wicked and with those who do evil, who speak peace with their neighbors while malice and mischief are in their hearts. Repay them according to their work and according to the evil of their practices. Repay them according to the deeds of their hands. Repay them what they deserve, because they have no regard for the works of the Lord, nor the deeds of his hands. He will tear them down and not rebuild them. Blessed be the Lord, because he has heard the voice of my supplication. The Lord is my strength and my impenetrable shield. My heart trusts with unwavering confidence in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song I shall thank him and praise him. The Lord is their unyielding strength, and he is the fortress of salvation to his anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Be their shepherd also and carry them forever. Psalms 29 verses 1 to 11 Amplified Ascribe to the Lord, O sons of the mighty. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty and majesty of his holiness as the creator and source of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. Yes, the Lord breaks in pieces the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf. And Syrian, Mount Hermon, like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord rakes flames of fire, lightning. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the doe labor and give birth and strips the forest bare. And in his temple all are saying, Glory. The Lord sat as king at the flood. Yes, the Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give unyielding and impenetrable strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Psalms 30 verses 1 to 12. I will extol and praise you, O Lord, for you have lifted me up and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cry to you for help and you have healed me. O Lord, you have brought my life up from Sheol, the netherworld, the place of the dead. You have kept me alive so that I would not go down to the pit, grave. Sing to the Lord, O you his godly ones, and give thanks at the mention of his holy name, for his anger is but for a moment, his favor is for a lifetime, weeping may endure for a night, but a shout of joy comes in the morning. As for me, in my prosperity I said I shall never be moved. By your favor and grace, O Lord, you have made my mountain stand strong. You hid your face and I was horrified. I call to you, O Lord, and to the Lord I made supplication, specific request, 
What profit is there in my blood, death, if I go down to the pit, grave? Will the dust praise you? Will it declare your faithfulness to man? Hear, O Lord, be gracious and show favor to me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing for me. You have taken off my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. That my soul may sing praise to you and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever.